Alright, what's going on guys? Sorry if the audio quality is kind of bad, but we're going to- er, the audio is a bit too quiet for the game. We're going to be playing LSD Drum Emulator today. A game I've wanted to play on this channel for a while, because it's pretty- it's a pretty interesting game, as they're gonna see. Uh, so we're just gonna kind of mess around with this game, because it's a very interesting game. It might- well, it's not my favorite game of all time, of course not. But it's a very, it's one of the coolest games of all time, in my opinion. Um, so we're gonna see how this goes. Th these are PS1 graphics. So, um, okay, I can't skip the cutscene. Um, is my controller working? I think it is, actually. I just don't know why I can't skip the cutscene. Alright, we're just gonna let this play out, I guess. So just as you saw from that, uh, no one actually really knows what LSD is supposed to mean in this game. Dude, alright. Oh, it's because I'm probably not- probably as I'm not clicked in. There you go. <laughs> that was the reason. Alright, let's go into this game. Uh, there might be some jump cuts here and there as I just show off these different areas. Okay, so that's like a quick turn. I've forgotten how to play this game, so... Please keep that in mind as we progress. So the thing about this game, it's kind of weird. We can only move forward or backward. We, I use the D-pad buttons to look to the left or right. I mean, I could theoretically hold them both at the same time. But the thing about this game is if you collide with an object or a thing, it will send you to another area unless your day has ended. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and go outside, see what's up. We, I can't run, well actually I can. Oh yeah, if I hold A, I run, but it's kind of, you don't really want to do that too much in this room, because I think it, you might run into a wall by accident, so. Something interesting about this game is that it was actually made by, um, it was actually made by, or it was inspired by a dream drone that one of the developers are keeping, so. That's kind of interesting. This is a Japanese game, of course, if you couldn't tell. So. Alright, so we walk into the fence, we're gonna get a new area. Yeah, the music changes, which is pretty neat. I think I heard this game has a lot of actual audio tracks I can- Whoa. Whoa, okay, I didn't know- I think I walked into something. Did you see it? Like, someone was dead on the ground. That was really strange. Alright, it looks like we're in the same place, though. And also, there is a rare chance that you can see this, uh, actual, like, you can see this guy that has, like, a trench coat. Yeah, look at this. Like, these people are dead, man. What's, what happened here? Um, how do I look down? X. Well, it's square, but it's X. Um, wow. That is strange. I need to get a thumbnail shot. Like, thumbnail right here. LSD everyone. That's what it does to you kids. <laughs> I guess we can head out to this bridge. See what's going on here. Sorry if it happens to lag. Or if the audio happens to take a... Huh, red pill or the blue pill? <laughs> also, sometimes when your day ends, you might randomly get transported out of your dream, so it's kind of weird. What is this? Let's run into it. Let's see if our dream gets wacky. Um, I think our dream got a bit wacky. Yeah, I don't even know what this is. See, so yeah, I have played a little bit of this game before, but I have not seen everything this game has to offer. So just keep that in mind. Also, I've kind of forgotten what happens. This is really weird. I'm not even gonna lie. I have no idea what's going on here. Also, you can see it kind of lagging, I'm sorry, there's too many things on the screen. I hear like there was kind of like a fan remake of this game, I kind of was interested in that. Whoa. This is a very, very interesting game. If you haven't tried it out, I'd highly recommend it. Because it is, it's a very, just, it's a very nice idea. 
just being able I mean, of course, the, the primitive gameplay is kind of a, a setback, but some very interesting ideas here at, at play. Where are we now? Oh, yep, yeah, our dream's gotten a bit weird. Yeah, there's like a ferris wheel? Yeah. I think these blocks make really weird noises when we step on them. Let's see. Yeah. This is probably the weirdest area you can actually get. Like, you look over there, you kind of see like a person. Sometimes your dream ends when you step on these train tracks. I don't know why. It's really weird. You'll notice a lot of things in this game don't really make sense. As you can see, our, our day ended. So there is like a static dynamic up or down or thing. I, I don't think many people know what it means exactly, but who knows. I'm going to do like maybe five days of this or so, depending on how fast I go. Also, sometimes your days might be like cutscenes like this, or they could just be like text, I think. So, I don't know, we'll play enough. This is very interesting. Like, what is happening? Also, I heard this game might have been released on the Japanese PSN store, so that's kind of cool. Alright, it's kind of creepy. I'm not even gonna lie, like, this entire thing with all the machinery, it's kind of creeping me out. Oh, well, we went a little bit up, so yay, I guess. Alright, let's see what day three brings us. Are we gonna get to explore a bit more? Oh, we're back here. Let's run into the window this time. Or the whatever that is. Now oh, the music. Oh. What's happening? Sounds like a thunderstorm, but I'm not entirely sure if that's what we're supposed to be seeing here. One thing I will criticize the game for is the footsteps that kind of get annoying when you hear how fast they go. Whoa, what's this? Is this like a map? Yeah, it's like a map. Well, we kind of reached a dead end, so I guess I'll let the map absorb me. Oh, we're back in this area. Sweet, I guess. There's a nice little castle over here. Let's check it out. So yes, so now you can see what kind of games I'm doing. Um, if there's a certain game you want me to play, still, you're gonna recommend one. Whoa. They're coming out of walls. Let's head into this little castle and we'll see what's up. Oh, it's a polygonal king and polygonal queen, I think, doing a dance. I'll dance with you, honey, come on. Oh, did the dream not end? I thought it ended when you collided with people. I guess not. I guess we had a little dance. Um, so would the queen be on... I think the queen would be on this chair. I'll take your place on the throne. Oh great, this area. This area I remember being kind of creepy, yeah, because there's like a floating elephant. Only an LSD, guys. Only an LSD. I fell. If you fall, I think your dream ends automatically. Yep. We went up and we went to over to dynamic a little bit. I don't think I did a let's play this game, guys, because I don't know how you can let's play this game. I don't think you can actually beat it. Maybe like a hundred day playthrough. I'm not sure. That might be kind of cool, but I doubt we could do it. I, well, I might do it if you really want me to, but... Alright, so we have like some lions over here. Hi guys. 
Big Mufasa. <laughs> Is that a lion? That looks really creepy if that's supposed to be a lion. Alright, all lions aside, let's check out another area. Oh, I see like some... that's a cliff. Maybe if we run into the lion, we'll get something interesting. I thought you could run into the animals in this game to end your, to get to another area. I guess all you do is just clip on them. No, like, really. He wouldn't let me go. What's over here? Oh, it's really weird. Like, rock or something. It's, it's more solid than the sand, I can tell you that. Uh, what's up here? Whoa, there's like a flag. That is a flag, right? I'm not just being stupid. No, it's a... Whoa. Okay, well, that was actually much more interesting than a flag. Where are we? I fell into a hole, I guess. Huh. Well, we went more to static. Huh? And we went down, I think. Day five, let's go. This might be my last day. Whoa. All right, pretty nice, not even gonna lie. Nice Japanese architecture. Can I go outside, is that, is that an option? What is this? Oh, you're going places, kid. Wait, what? I, uh, <laughs> I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be looking at. If that's even a kid, I don't think that's a kid. That's really nice chair balancing, I guess. Is this just gonna loop? No, this is someone else. But the way they use polygons, I don't remember when this game was released. I think it was actually kind of an early PS1 title, so that might explain the really polygonal characters. Whoa. Maybe they did that just to conserve space so they could put all the other things. This is pretty cool. Ouch. Um. <laughs> so similar to that one building we were in earlier. Looks like an... What is this? Is this like an apartment? I, I don't know. Uh, what do we get down here? We get nothing. Yeah, we do. Whoa. Can I go back down here? You opened up the airlock or something. Oh, it's gonna do the same thing? What happens if I go down this way? Nope, don't run into the door. It's hard to run into stuff when you just have to hold down forward. Well, of course, like, there's the fact that it's constantly kind of moving. Ah! <sighs> I go over here? Whoa. Once it flies sky high, what is that? It's, it's a red sun. Let's follow it. Maybe it's like the North Star or something. Whoa. This, is this supposed to be water? I think it might actually look better, but my emulator might actually not be doing it right. I don't know. I don't, th I don't know if that's actually how it's supposed to look. I haven't seen this game on a good computer, so... Here, let's just make it to where you can't see the water. There you go. Oh, well, it's kind of unavoidable, is it? <laughs> I really want to follow the sun all the way. I want to see where it takes me. He is going fast. Is, are we playing a Sonic right now? <laughs> um, let's hit a rock in the water. So we can go in the water. Yeah, we can. Well, we can't even hit the rock in the water. Okay. Well, I don't want to fall just yet. I want my dream to end whenever it wants to end. Let's hit a tree. The music is really weird. Where are we? Oh, we're in this place again. 
Are we gonna see the elephant? Oh, there is the elephant. All right. I saw like something over here. It's looks like some sort of monument. Like it's really strange. What's over here? We have a little tunnel we can head into if we wish. Which will take us to another area? It will. Alright, let's see what's over here then. Is this really that one place? No, it's not. There's a lot of weird things. Like, there are a ton of signs. Though, one of them looks like an owl. The other is like a little grass hedge thing. Hmm. I'm gonna head this way. Is this- yeah, I think this is that one area. Well... Can we go back? That's what I wanna know. Yeah, we can. No, the dream just ended. Alright, I think that's all I'm gonna do for LSD today. Um, if you want me to do a full-fledged series, leave in the comments and I might do just that. But yeah. Uh, until then, Oh. B A. That's gonna be our name. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Um I'll see you guys next time on LSG Dream Emulator. Hopefully. I don't know if I'm actually gonna do it. <laughs>